Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Science Snake. Today we're looking at chemistry, specifically acids and bases. So let's get into the video. Let's take a look at some characteristics of acids and bases. Acids have a pH less than 7, whereas bases have a pH greater than 7. Acids like lemons, vinegar, and coffee have a sour taste, whereas bases have a bitter taste. Acids turn litmus indicator paper red, whereas bases turn litmus indicator paper blue. Acids like to donate protons, whereas bases accept protons. Acids tend to have an H at the beginning of a formula, for example, hydrogen chloride, whereas bases tend to have an OH at the end of a formula when bonded to a metal, for example, sodium hydroxide. Both acids and bases are electrical conductors. Let's take a look at some key terms. The first one is pH. pH is a scale used to measure how acidic or basic a substance is. pH can refer to the power of hydrogen. Alkali is a basic ionic salt of an alkali metal or alkali earth metal. And you can find those in the periodic table. Lastly, surfactant. Compounds that lower the surface tension. They're also known as surface active agents. They have the ability to attach to both oils and liquids like water. Here we have an acid reaction we have the acid HCl reacting in water. Water is acting as a base here. We will go into further details after this. As previously mentioned, acids like to donate protons, whereas bases like to accept protons. The red arrow in HCl is pointing to the hydrogen ion that will be donated. And in water, the red arrow is pointing to the hydrogen ion that will stay. In the product side of the reaction, you can see water accepted a proton, now forming H3O+ also known as a hydronium ion. Let's go into further detail with water. Water is the most unique substance on Earth. It has a pH level of 7, making it neutral. This means that it can play as both an acid and base. For example, in the previous example we saw that when water reacted with a strong acid, like HCl, water acted like a base. If water were to react with a base, it would act as an acid. This is a pH scale. From left to right, we have a scale of 0 through 14. Starting on the left, we have the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. The closer you are to 0 means you are a strong acid, like batteries, lemons, and stomach acid. Do you know what type of acid is found in your stomach? If you guessed HCl or hydrochloric acid, you are correct. If you have high levels of HCl, it can cause problems like acid reflux or heartburn, which is why you may take an anti-acid to prevent acid buildup. Yikes! The closer you get to 14, the stronger the base you are, like soap, bleach, and drain cleaner. Take a look at the pH level of blood. It's at a pH of 8. If you go past 8 or less than 8, it can bring some serious health problems, potentially even death. The pH scale is full of important information that helps us live healthy lives and able to help us keep foods and items we use to stay at that pH level. How can we get foods and items to stay at their pH levels? Stay tuned until the end of the video to find out. Let's take a look at soap. Soap is a base and also a surfactant. We learned this word at the beginning of the video, meaning that they have the ability to attach to both oils and water. When you grab a bar of soap, it gets slippery when reacting to water. Ever wonder what soap is made out of? It's made out of fat or fatty acids. Yep, you heard it here, folks. You're rubbing lard when scrubbing with soap. It also contains lye, a scientific term for a metal hydroxide, like the base NaOH, sodium hydroxide, and a liquid like water. Next time you buy soap, take a look at the ingredients. You will see the name sodium lauryl sulfate which is a detergent, the foaming agent in soap. And don't forget, soap is considered a salt. You're probably wondering, hmm, how can you measure pH? There are two methods we will discuss. 
The first way to measure pH is by using pH litmus paper. Litmus is a water-soluble mixture of different dyes extracted from lichens. Litmus paper absorbs the liquid substance and then changes colors, indicating whether the substance is acidic or basic. A second way to measure pH is using a pH meter. Remember at the start of the video I mentioned acids and bases are electrical conductors? Well, the pH meter measures the difference in electrical potential between a pH electrode and a reference electrode. There are various types of pH meters, and some can actually hook up to your laptop and iPads, measuring and recording the pH levels for you through an app. Wait a minute. At this point, you're probably wondering why are acids and bases important? One example is ocean acidification. Ocean acidification is the decrease in pH levels caused by an uptake of carbon dioxide. Take a look at the diagram. There are high levels of carbon dioxide that then dissolve in the ocean, forming carbonic acid. Then, this causes a decrease in carbonate and an increase in hydrogen ions. Lastly, it causes a decrease in both carbonate and pH levels, making the ocean very acidic, also referred to as ocean acidification. Therefore, marine organisms that have shells or skeletons are the most affected because they need calcium carbonate for growth of these parts. Ocean acidification affects biodiversity, the ocean, fishing industries, and the food web. A second example is the food industry. Ever wonder about the process of jarring foods that are available at grocery stores? Well, science is behind it. Food scientists and biochemists research ways to improve the safety of jarred products like salsa. Salsa contains tomatoes, which are considered a low acid at a pH level of 4. Foods that are low acids are at risk of growing bacteria that can produce toxins that are harmful if consumed. So when salsa and other foods are made and jarred, Food scientists must make sure to keep low acid foods at the safe acidity level of 4.6 in order to avoid bacterial growth. Now that you learned a little bit more about acids and bases, it's time to explore. Check out ingredients and common households you have. You'll be surprised what you find. Science is all around you. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.